Are you looking for an embossed background and don't have an embossing folder? Let me give you a great tip on how to use your dies to emboss. I have my embossing machine here with my basic platform one. I am going to add my clear cutting mat on the bottom. Next, you're going to probably need to create a shim. Now, every machine's a little bit different, so you're going to have to experiment. I have two pieces of vanilla cardstock here acting as my shim. The rollers in your machine might be slightly tighter or looser. Never force anything through your machine. And then I'm adding my silicone mat. Then comes my cardstock. And this is where you're going to use your dies. I'm going to place the other clear mat over the top and I'm going to crank this through. It should go through fairly easily. Otherwise, you would have too much of a sandwich created with your shims. Now you can go back through the machine numerous times to fill in those blank areas, but it's lots and lots of fun and it's a great way for you to create custom backgrounds that are embossed for your card making and scrapbooking pages.